Hello everyone and welcome back to Villainous, Marvel Villainous. Today we are playing uh, Killmonger. His objective is to take control of the mines, which are two cards in here, and uh, relocate... Uh, oh, actually, sorry, the mines is over here. Uh, take control of the mines and relocate two explosives, which are in here, to any domain other than your own. Uh, we have shuffled his um, fate deck in with the shared fate deck. We have shuffled his uh, villain deck. We have placed Claw here as instructed by the uh, rules in his own card. Uh, Claw is a rival. Uh, he has five strength and uh, he says, uh, or his card says, Claw starts the game at the Golden City, which is here, the Golden City. Uh, when Claw is defeated, flip this tile over to reveal Challenge for the Throne. Then move the tiles in this pile to the specialty area of your domain because there's more than one tile. So uh, we'll go through that one step at a time as we play. We have uh, 20 rounds to win as in solo mode, and we have our uh, fate die. We will fade ourselves on a one, two, three, or four out of 10. Unless we go to a location with that, then we'll fade ourselves on a one or two out of 10. All right, let's begin by drawing four cards. Okay, we are starting with uh, Killmonger's Fury. It's an effect card, costs two to play. Uh, it says, uh, defeat a character with a strength of four or less in your domain. Dog of War, an ally card, costs one to play, has two strength. You may re uh, play Dog of War to another player's domain. Weapons Cash, it's an item card, costs one to play. In, on your turn, you may pay up to three power. For each power you pay, reduce the strength of any character at the same location as weapons cash by one until the end of the turn. And then taunt. Uh, it's an effect card, cause zero to play. Relocate any character in your domain to a different location in your domain. Okay. So what we want to do is get rid of Claw as soon as possible. And I think we're going to use a combination of these two cards to do that. So why don't we start by going over here. Let's gain three power. Oops. And we'll spend one power to play the Weapons Cache. And it has to be at the same location as Weapons Cache. So we'll play Weapons Cache here at the Golden City. Is everything on camera? Not really. Okay, let me push this up a little bit. Move that. Okay, everything's on camera now. All right. Um, we can play another card while here. Uh, so what's under? Okay. Let's discard taunt. We'll hold on to everything else, and we'll end that turn there. Move down around 19. Let's draw two cards, get back up to four. We got King. Uh, when King is played, you may relocate an item you control in your domain to his location. That's good. And Wound. Uh, when Wound is played, attach it to a character uh, that you do not control in your domain. That character loses two strength. It's an item card, costs one to play. All right, let's see if we get faded on a one, two, three, or four out of 10. As 10, we do not get faded. Okay. Uh, so let's now go, uh, okay, so I don't really need, I don't need to activate that or anything. So let's go here. We're gonna spend, we're gonna gain one power we're going to spend two power to play Killmonger's... Well, actually, we're going to spend this also. Um, so we're using Weapons Cache and Killmonger's Fury. That's why we paid three power. Uh, so on your turn... Well, the, we paid one power because of the effect here. So on your turn, you may pay up to three power. We paid one out of three. For each power you pay, reduce the strength of any character at the same location as Weapons Cache. Uh, by one until the end of the turn. So until the end of the turn, he has uh, five, uh, four strength instead of five. And I paid two for this 
effect, defeat a character with a strength of four or less in your domain. Boom. And then, uh, let's see. When Claw's defeated, flip this tile over to reveal challenge for the throne. Then move the tiles in this pile to the specialty area of your domain. And, uh... Now we'll I'll read Challenge for the Throne. It's a specialty card with an effect uh, with an action symbol. If we activate it and pay two power, we can find Black Panther and either play or relocate him to the Warrior to Warrior Falls, which is over here. Warrior Falls. Uh, when you defeat Black Panther, reveal Control the Mines, which is underneath, and we'll read that once we get there. Okay. So we played a card, we can activate, but we don't have enough power to activate. We can discard if we want. Um, I don't think we'll discard, so we'll hold on to everything. And uh, let's see if we get faded, but before, we gotta draw one card to get back up to four cards. We drew uh, Armored Rhino, cost zero to play. Uh, it's a specialty card. Heroes at Killmonger's location lose one strength. Let's see if we get faded. One, two, three, or four out of ten. A five, we do not. Okay. So let's go here. We're gonna gain two power and we're gonna activate challenge for the throne and spend that two power to do so so now we gotta find black panther he's gonna be in here somewhere here he is play him to warrior falls Okay, good enough. Okay, uh, I can play a card, but I don't have enough power. Well, I can, I'll play this. Um, so we're gonna play Armored Rhino. So Heroes at Killmonger's location lose one strength. Um, so we activated, we played a card, we can do power. So now we'll just reduce the chances of being faded. But first, let's move down round 17, draw a card, get back up to four. We got um, Knight. She is an uh, ally. Cost three to play. Has three strength or has a uh, five strength and no other ability. All right. Let's uh, see if we get faded. Uh, four. We do not get faded because uh, we're at a location with the fate symbol. So only a one or two out of ten when we're at a location with the fate symbol. Um, all right. Now let's go over here. We're going to collect three power, one, two, and three. Uh, let's, uh, I think we're going to use these two guys, right? So let's spend uh, two power and we're going to relocate the weapons cache over to uh, well, we're going to play King, and when King is played, you may relocate an item you control in your domain to his location. So that's what we're doing. We're putting King here, and we're relocating the weapons cache. Um, we could play another card if we want. So right now, Black Panther... Uh, I don't think I read his ability. So Black Panther is a hero with four strength, but when he is in... Uh, uh, Killmonger's domain, he gains two, two strength. So he's really a six while in Killmonger's domain. Um, let's see. So we could play another card. Uh, maybe what we'll do is uh, we'll we'll spend one to play the Dog of War. And now we have six 
so we don't even need to use the weapons cache if we don't want to, or if we can't for whatever reason later on. And I'll hold on to these two. We're not going to discard them. So we'll go down to round 16. We'll draw two cards, get back up to four. Killmonger's Fury and Wound. We already read those. So let's see if we get faded on a one, two, three, or four and a ten. A uh, six, we do not. Okay. So let's uh let's go here. We're going to vanquish um Black Panther with these two cards because they add up to six, so we didn't even need to use weapons cache, but it's good that it's there just in case for the future. Um, and actually, he had five strength because of the rhino. I was there, but I would still need these two to uh, vanquish him anyways. Um, let's see. Well, we can't play anything because we don't have enough power to do that, and we can't gain power while here. Uh, we're not going to relocate anything either, uh, so we'll end that turn there, and we'll reduce the chances of being faded by two. So move down around 15. Again, a little worried now because we haven't seen any of the uh, explosives. Oh, but I can do this uh, because I defeated Black Panther. Uh, when you defeat Black Panther, reveal control the mines. So here we go. Uh, control the Mines. It's a specialty card. Uh, you have to activate it and pay two power, and if you do, uh, I can relocate explosives to another player's domain, even if Black Panther is in my domain. Oh wait, no, no. <laughs> I can relocate explosives to another player's domain. If Black Panther is in my domain, flip this tile over, and I'll show you what that does. The Mines are lost. When uh, you defeat, remove, or relocate Black Panther while he is in your domain, flip this tile over. So I can't get the uh, explosives out while Black Panther is in my domain, basically. That's what that's about. Okay. All right, so let's see if we get faded. Did I draw a card already? Yeah. Uh, let's see if we get faded on a one, two, one or two out of ten, because we have the fate symbol here. Uh, uh, ten, we do not. Okay. So what we need to do is get the explosives so let's go here we're going to gain three power we're going to spend all three of that power actually to get uh knight out on the board and unfortunately we're going to discard all three of these which sucks because they're good cards but we got to get those explosives uh so we're going to move down around 14 uh, let's uh, draw four cards, get up to four. What do we get? Execute plan, perform an activate action. It's an effect card, costs one to play. Uh, Wakabi, uh, he is an ally, costs two to play, has three strength. Uh, the, your power cost to use an activated ability is reduced by one. Wakabi cannot be played if claw is in your do domain. So that's good. Oh, we have our first explosive, and we got another... Okay, so the explosive is an item card, costs two to play. Um, remove this item to defeat up to two characters at this location. Explosives cannot defeat characters with a strength of five or more. And uh, there you go. So let's see, I have to... So I have to play the explosives first and then relocate them. So it costs four total to do that. Uh, unless something else lets us reduce that cost like Wakabi. Okay, so that's that. Let's see if we get faded on a 1, 2, 3, or 4 out of 10. It is a 4. You can't see it, but it landed on a 4. So we will be faded. Nick Fury. When Nick Fury is played, the targeted player loses half their power rounded up. I have no power. Uh, let's play him there. Block uh, activate symbol. Okay. Huh. Man, he hides the play card action also. Okay. Hmm. This sucks. Alright, I guess I'll go here. 
Oh, well, what, what would be the... So if I go there, I can at least get rid of these executes. I still can't play him or the explosives. But that's kind of the best possibility right now. Okay. I guess we'll do that. So we're going to go here. We're going to gain one power. We're going to discard both of these. And, um... And uh, we'll hold on to both of these. And we'll go to round 13. Draw two cards, get back up to four. Uh, Stolen Wisdom, it's a specialty card, costs three to play. Uh, if you have three or fewer cards in your hand at the end of your turn, instead of drawing cards, you may reveal cards from your deck until you reveal two items. Add those items to your hand. That's pretty good. We can get the explosives faster that way. And weapons cash. We already know what that does. Okay. Uh, let's see if we get faded on a 1, 2, 3, or 4 out of 10. 10. We do not. Okay. Well, let's uh, go back here. I'm going to gain 3 power. And... Let's try to get this first explosive out before we do anything else. So let's, uh, we're going to play Wakabi. So he's going to cost us two. We'll play Wakabi here at the Great Mound. And uh, we'll spend another two to play explosives at the Golden City. Um, and we can discard, we'll discard the weapons cache. We'll hold on to uh, Stolen Wisdom. And we'll end that turn there. So move on, down around 12. Draw three cards, get back up to four. Uh, any ex oh, we got a, an explosive, which is good. Let's see what the other ones are. So Rook is an ally, costs two to play, has two uh, strength. When one other ally would be defeated at Rook's location, you may remove Rook instead. That's pretty good. Uh, overpower, uh, two, uh, an effect card, costs two to play. Place a plus one strength token on all allies in your domain. That's pretty good. Okay. All right, let's uh, see if we get faded on a one, two, three, or four out of 10. Nine, we do not. Okay, I want to get rid of Nick Fury because he's annoying me now. Uh, but I gotta find a good way to do that. Um, so I need power in order to uh, get that explosive out. Um, but all I need is one power because of Wakabi's ability. So why don't we go to the Great Mound, we'll gain one power, we're going to activate Control the Mines, normally it would cost two power, but Wakabi reduces it by one, so it's only going to cost us the one. Uh, relocate Explosive Mines to another player's domain, if Black Panther is in your domain, flip this tile over. We're going to play it to that imaginary character's domain. Is that still on the camera? Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. So we can still play a card, but we don't have any power, and everything costs power to play. We can discard, um, uh, let's not discard anything, because we have what we need to win, uh, which is the explosives, and everything else is pretty good. So let's move down around 11. Uh, we have four cards, so we're not going to draw. Let's see if we get faded on a 1, 2, 3, or 4 out of 10. A 2, we're going to get faded. Uh, Hatut Zarazi uh, is a hero, uh, has two strength. Uh, when Hatut Zarazi is played, choose an ally with a strength of two or less, or an item in the targeted player's domain, then return it to their hand. Okay, so it doesn't need to be at the location. So let's see, any allies with strength of two or less? No, any item in the targeted, uh, or an item in the targeted player's domain. So we'll return this to our hand, and let's see, we'll play him here to be even more annoying. All right. 
Hmm. I think we'll still go here anyways. We're going to gain three power. And we'll spend uh, uh, two power. And we're going to play Rook, believe it or not, at Nick Fury's location. Because that's more annoying. Because we can't really do anything there until we get rid of him. Um... And then we'll hold on to everything else, because we, well, no, but we can only play one card. Okay. All right, so let's move down around 10. Uh, let's see if we get faded on a 1, 2, 3, or 4. And we can't draw because we have four cards. A 3, we're going to get faded. Captain Marvel. A uh, hero with uh, six strength when Captain Marvel is played, relocate all allies in the targeted player's domain to her location. Huh. Uh, here, I guess. Boom. Okay. Well, that's not cool. I definitely want to get rid of all these guys. Um, man, it sucks not being able to gain power if I go here. Um, let's go. So I think what we'll do is we're going to, we're going to go here anyways. We're going to move Rook to the Golden City, and we're actually going to use the Vanquish action to Vanquish Nick Fury, and Rook is also Vanquished by that. So we relocated, we Vanquish, we can play a card if we want, um, no, I think we'll hold on to everything because we're going to want to spend, uh, we're going to want to use an explosive and move it. Uh, next turn so let's uh let me see do we have four cards we have four cards so we're not going to draw anything uh we move down around nine uh so let's see i think next turn will win though so let's see if we're going to even roll the die uh we might just fade ourselves automatically here so what we need to do so the win condition is take control of the mines which we have and relocate two explosives to any domain other than your own so we already did one. So what? So all we're gonna do then on our next turn is move here, gain two power, spend two power to play the explosive, and then we're gonna activate and spend just one power because of Kawabi uh, or Wakabi to play the explosive somewhere, and then we win. Uh, so let's automatically, we're going to forego rolling the fate die, and because it's our tradition on here, if we are at our win condition, basically, to fate ourselves to see if we would be prevented or delayed from winning. So let's see, we're going to automatically fate. Wak Ooh, this does it. This prevents us from winning. Wakanda forever. Find Black Panther and either play or relocate him to Killmonger's Domain. If Black Panther is already in play, place a plus one strength token on him. So he's not already here, so he's not going to get the, the strength token. But we find him and either play or relocate him to Killmonger's Domain. We'll play him there. So uh, we got to flip Control the Mines over. Uh, oh, this is him. And uh, you'll recall that when he's in our domain, he has six strength, not four. He has six. Okay. So that's a problem. Um, so what we'll do, though, is we're going to go here. We're going to gain three power. Uh, there we go. One, two, three. And we're going to spend uh, two power. To play overpower, place a plus one strength token on all allies in your domain. So Wakabi and Knight uh, both get plus one. So that makes Knight a six, 
she'll be able to defeat Black Panther. <clears throat> Did I? Yeah, I spent two. Okay. All right, that's all we can do right now because they're blocking the other actions. So let's move down around eight. We'll draw uh, one card to get back up to four. <clears throat> Another explosives, which is good because we can use it to defeat uh, heroes. We don't need to use it only for our win condition. So that's not bad. Uh, let's see, we get faded on a one, two, three, or four out of 10. Oh my goodness, we're gonna get faded again. That's really not good. Black Widow. Oh, no. Uh, when Black Widow is played, you may defeat an ally at her location. We're going to play her here and get rid of uh, defeat uh, Knight. Because she was the only one strong enough to defeat Black Panther. So we're going to get rid of her. Oh, man. That was brutal. That really hurt us. Well, we have an explosive. So I think we'll have to do that. Um... Oh, but he, even this won't defeat Black Panther. Oh, man. We'll have to do Weapons Cash, I think. We'll have to play Weapons Cash. On your turn, you may pay up to three powers. So let's see if we'll be able to use Weapons Cash to defeat Black Panther this turn. So if we move... Let's, let's play this out. We're going to move here. If we play Weapons Cash... No, it's not going to be enough, but we'll we'll start it. So, yeah, okay, we'll have to do it like this. So we're going to play Weapons Cash by spending one power. Um, we're not going to... We're going to move Wakabi over here. Um, we can't play any more cards. And we can't vanquish yet because he has four and he has six. And we only have one to reduce it. So we'll have to hold off for now. Okay. So let's move down around seven. Uh, let's draw one card to get back up to four. Hacking Rig. It's an item card. Cost two to play. You need to activate it. And if you do, you cannot activate Hacking Rig if you have the most power. Game power equal to half the amount held by the player with the most power rounded up. So the way I'm gonna play this in solo mode is I'll just get uh, however many power I have, I gain uh, half of that. And uh, if I don't have any power, I just gain one. So minimum of one minimum of one power and I just gain half of what power I, I already have. Okay. So uh, let's see. Let's see if we get faded. Uh, no, one or two, because I'm at a location with the fate symbol. Nine, we do not get faded. Okay. Well, let's see. Well, all right, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna gain three power. Uh, we'll spend uh, two power, and we'll place it, uh, I guess here, because this one's not really a big deal. Um, and we would only be able to defeat, uh, uh, Black Widow, because it, it, it's a limit of five, uh, cannot defeat, uh, characters with five or more strength. Uh... And I guess we'll just hold on to everything else. And then next move, we'll go here and vanquish Black Panther. Uh, and we'll need to use both of these to get him from a six to a four. And, okay. So let's do that. So move down around six. Uh, let's gain uh, one card, get back up to four. Killmonger's Fury, that'll help also. Uh, cost two to play. It's an effect card. Defeat a character with a strength of four or less in your domain. So we might be able to do that instead. How much is that? Two? Okay. Okay. No, no, we won't be able to do that. No, we don't have enough power to do it. All right. Well, let's uh, see if we get faded on one, two, three, or four. Oh, man. 
Falcon. Uh, when Falcon is played, well, Falcon is a hero with two strength. When Falcon is played, you may relocate a hero with a strength of three or less uh, from any domain to his location. A strength of three or less. Okay. Um, move this here to make it more annoying. So now we're not going to use the uh, explosives. But I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. We'll just do that. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to go here. Uh, we're not going to play any of these. We're going to use the weapons cache ability. On your turn, you may pay up to three power. For each power you pay, reduce the strength of any hero at the same location as weapons cache by one until the end of the turn. So we're going to reduce, uh, we're going to spend two power to reduce it, uh, Black Panther's um, strength by one each. So he goes from six to four. And now this guy's strength, three plus four is equal. So we're going to use the vanquish action to uh, use Wakabi to vanquish Black Panther. And then uh, when you defeat, remove, or relocate Black Panther while he is in your domain, flip this tile over. So now we have control of the mines again. All right, um, that's all we can do while at that location. Um, we don't have power to play any cards, so we'll have to end that turn there. Move down around five. Uh, let's see if we're going to automatically fade ourselves. Because what we need to do is... if We'll win if... I think we'll win if we go here. We gain two power. We activate, control the mines, spend that two power to relocate the explosive. So yeah, we are at our win condition again. So uh, let's see if... Uh, so we're going to automatically fade ourselves because we're at the win condition. So let's see what happens. No! <laughs> no, 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 no. Wakanda forever. Find Black Panther and either play or relocate him to Killmonger's domain. If Black Panther is already in play, place a plus one strength token uh, on him or to him. So he comes back. Ugh. And he's going to go here. Because that can't hurt him. And this can. Oh, man. Brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Oh, jeez. We need we need a discard now to get other stuff. Um, but we need power also. So frustrating. This gets flipped over. Well, let's see. Four or less. This reduces it by one. Not good enough. Not good enough. Um, well, we have to we have to discard because nothing here is going to help us win. So we have to discard even though we're not gaining power. So we're going to get rid of those two. Hold on to these two because these might help us defeat Black Panther. We're going to move down around four. Uh, let's gain two power. And a weapons cache and dog of war. Not great. I mean, the weapons cache will help us. All right. Um, let's see if we get faded. One, two, three, or four. Two. Oh, boy. We're going to get faded. Getting really nervous now. Oh, no. Okay, well, good. We don't need to play. Okay. So uh, it's an event card. has has uh, five threshold, I guess. Uh, Killmonger cannot play items. That is really bad for Killmonger, but we already have an explosive out, so we don't really need to play items anymore. We just need to get Black Panther out of here and relocate the item. Uh, but if we do get rid of this, then the reward is uh, Killmonger may find any item in his deck or discard pile and play it immediately for free to his domain. So that, that's that. Uh, and let's see if we get faded. Uh, well, we did. That was the fate. Okay. So we, we did that. All right. Okay. Boy. So, uh, we need power, but how much do we need? 
so if we go here, you were, I think we're going to need at least three power. So we're going to go here, we're going to gain three power, and we're going to spend one power to play weapons cash. Oh, we can't do that because of this. Oh, no. Oh. No, 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 no. No. Alright, well, the only real thing that'll help us get progress to doing that is spending one to play Dog of War here. That's really the only thing that'll help us right now. Ugh. Man, that, that is brutal. Brutal. Okay, we're going to move down around three. I'm getting really nervous now. I, we might lose this, even though we came so close. We came so close twice. All right, we're going to draw one. Taunt. Uh, relocate any character in your domain to a different location in your domain. Huh. I mean, if we relocate Black Panther here, we can defeat him with our rage, our rage card. So let's see if we get faded on a one, two, three, or four. Please no. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Let's see if this if we can make this work. So we need at least two. Okay. But we need to relocate him. See, we would need to play two cards. Um. So at least we can start it. So if we go here, we're gonna gain uh, two power. We're going to spend zero power to relocate any character in our domain to a different location in our domain. We're going to relocate Black Panther to the Golden City. And yeah. Do we want to activate anything before we do that? No. Okay. Okay. So now next turn, I can use this ability and this card to defeat uh, Black Panther. And then after that, or maybe even on that turn, we can uh, get that ex explosive out of here. Um, okay. Uh, so let's see what happens then. So uh, we have three cards. Let's, so we move down round two. Man, we're cutting it real close, real close. Draw one card to get back up to four. Another weapons cache. Let's see if we get faded on a one or a two. Four, we do not get faded. Okay, let's see if we can make this happen. So we, we really, really, really want to activate something, but we can't play a card if we go here because we're being blocked. Um, so I think we're going to have to go here to play yeah so we're gonna we're gonna use the weapons cache ability so what well, first we we draw three power let's first things first draw three power now we're gonna use the weapons cache ability we're going to it has to be four or less so we need to just reduce him by two strength so we're paying that two one two so he goes from six to four now we're gonna play a card spend two power to play Killmonger's Fury, defeated character with a strength of four or less in your domain, Black Panther. Uh, we gain control of the mines again. So now we just need to activate it and get that explosive out of here. Um, we can discard, uh, let's discard both weapons caches because that's not really gonna help us and see if there's anything else in here that'll help us get this explosive out of here. Um, so let's move down to the last round. We have three power still that we can help use to pay for the activate ability. Um, we gain three cards to get back up to four. So one, two, three. Uh, that is Rage of, uh, Killuna. Uh, it's a specialty card. Costs one to play. Before moving your villain, you may discard a card from your hand to find, uh, Killmonger's Fury, then add it to your hand. Heart-shaped herb, gain the play a card action at a location. 
and uh, uh, Dog of War. Okay, so none of them really are that great, uh, well, for this late in the game. But um, let's see if we can win. So I think we can, because all we got to do is activate, pay two power, and relocate the mines. So we're at our win condition, and we can do that at either place. So if we go here, even though we can't play a card, all we need to do is activate the control of mines, and we can relocate and win. If we go here, activate pay two power to relocate and win. So we're at the win condition. That means we're going to forego rolling the fate die, and we're going to automatically fate ourselves for the last time, and this will either let us know we're going to win or we're going to lose. Shuri. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure. Uh, she's a hero with three strength. When Shuri is played, remove an item from the targeted player's domain. Place, uh, place plus one strength tokens equal to the cost of that item on Shuri. Well, you know what that means. I should remove an item. Okay, so we'll place her there. That means we lose because she is going to remove an item from the targeted player's domain. Boom. So, there you have it. We lost. Because now it's our turn. We have no way of, in one turn, we can't play an explosive because of the stolen antiques. We can't get rid of stolen antiques because all we have is, at most, for strength, and we have no way of removing these guys over there and adding strength to them, because no relocate abilities anywhere. Uh, so there you have it. We have lost, but let's play it out. Uh, we're going to go... <laughs> Where do we go? Uh, we'll go... We'll have one little final hurrah. We'll go here. We'll spend two power to play Dog of War, and we'll vanquish... Who do we want to vanquish? Who is more annoying? Falcon? This one made us return... Yeah, they're, they're both whatever. We'll, 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 we'll vanquish the Hatut Zeris, because they look like, like they have the same costumes. So we'll... Vanquish, vanquish, so at least we went out with a fight. Can't do anything else. We go from round one to round zero, and we have lost as Killmonger. So there you have it. You can't win them all. Where's the 20? Oh, here it is. So in 20 rounds, we went all the way to the end. We almost won twice, but, you know, according to our tradition on this channel, we fate when we're at our fate action or when we're at our win condition we automatically fade ourselves so there you have it we have lost as killmonger unfortunate but it happens so now it is time to recite the litany of the meme the night is dark and full of terrors but i know that we will live long and prosper for the force will be with us always against the forces of he who must not be named as we remember to keep it secret keep it safe until the day we assemble in the name of muadib so say we all